So today's video is going to be about something that if five years ago you had told me I'd be on film talking about, don't think I would have believed you because today's video, we're going to be getting to the bottom of the RV commode. Now our camper is a 2019 and came with the all plastic Dometic 300. About eight months ago, we upgraded to the Dometic 310, which is uh, part porcelain, part plastic. We really love the upgrade. And we're finding that most campers are coming with the Dometic 310. So today we're gonna talk about three things. First off, we're gonna talk about maintenance on this commode and the black tank. Then we're gonna talk about what parts we like to have on hand, just in case. And thirdly, we're gonna do some troubleshooting on some repairs that may come up on these commodes. There is a significant difference between your commode at home and your commode in your camper. It's that rubber seal. The rubber seal does two things. It keeps water in the bowl and it keeps odors from traveling up from the black tank into your camper. So maintenance of this rubber seal is absolutely critical. Maintaining and cleaning the rubber seal on your travel trailer commode is really simple and it's very important. We do it about twice a year. And there's two ways that we do it. I take a toothbrush, preferably retired. You use that toothbrush to clean the seal up. Secondly, I'll take a little bit of this, Odie's silicone grease. I use this product to wipe around the top and bottom of the rubber seal so that it doesn't dry out and it stays real pliable and does its job. We've been using Happy Campers for close to the five years now and have been very, very pleased with it. Um, it's a simple product to use. You just go ahead and fill the bowl up with about a gallon of water, put a scoop in and then flush it down. Um, and then they usually say, you know, add a couple more gallons to it. Um, we do this each time that we empty the black tank and we really don't have any odor problem here in the camper. So no matter how well you maintain something, chances are sooner or later, you need a part. So we're gonna go over three different ones here today. Now, Dometic does make original replacement parts, uh, but there's also companies that make kind of those off-brand um, parts that would you know, fit the commode. So we're gonna list the part numbers down here as we talk about each one of them. Um, we haven't had to use one over the other, so I can't recommend um, which one to go with, but um, I think with the part numbers, you guys will be able to go ahead and do that research yourselves. Now we're gonna go through some troubleshooting here in just a minute of some of the items we've seen pop up on these commodes. Um, but one of the most common parts um, that is going to be required is this, and this is a new water valve that goes on the back of the commode. So we do keep this as a spare part. And the reason is, is usually when this goes, usually involves leaking water from the commode. So the last thing we wanna do is have a problem on the road and not have a um, replacement part that we can quickly fix it. So for this one, we do keep this part in our spare parts box. So this one is the floor flange. So this goes inside the kind of the bottom of the commode as it sits on the floor and then it is locked down with those mounting bolts. Now this one we actually have because when we bought the new one, um, the Dometic 300 had one and it wasn't very old and we found that flange was you know still fine. So we used that and kept this one back. Um, but I think it's a good part once again to have for a spare part because if this goes, chances are you're gonna have some leaking in the toilet again. Okay, and the last part, and this one we're not gonna keep a spare part of, is that um, rubber seal that Troy was talking about a minute ago. And the reason is, is it, if it goes, it is an inconvenience, but it's not gonna involve an immediate water leak. So they're readily accessible and you know available online fairly quickly. So that one, we're just gonna order if and when we need it. For this portion of the video, we're going to focus on troubleshooting. And while we do it, we're going to try and have some fun. Yes. Now, we haven't had any trouble with the commode in our camper, but we've read a few people online have, so we're going to try to run through some of the issues. Troy, hurry! There's water coming from the back of the toilet! It'll be alright. Put Desi's water bowl underneath of it. But seriously. 
if we find that there is water leaking from the back of the commode, first of all, we're not gonna make Desi drink it. Um, and second of all, we're gonna look at two different things. And the first is that the plumbing lines behind the commode are nice and tight, that nothing is cross-threaded and that everything seems really secure. That's kind of the easy fix. The second thing that it could be is a faulty water valve. And one of the reasons that these will go bad is if you haven't properly winterized and these freeze, they can crack and cause that leak. In fact, Dometic actually has in their warranty that if they find that there is like this white line somewhere on this, it'll indicate that it's actually been frozen. But if you find that you're having that leak, it may just be that this needs to be replaced. Now, there's one other time that this may need to be replaced. Linda, I can't get the water to shut off in this toilet at all. I think it's time for me to replace the valve. If it so happens that you've got water going into the commode and the water won't stop, uh, you may have to replace this little valve. If you have to replace it, first thing you want to do, obviously, is turn the water off, release the pressure from the water lines. And uh, changing this little valve out is not a big deal, but it is tight. So you're gonna need little stubby screwdrivers. A Phillips head screwdriver for a couple little screws that go into the housing and this flat blade little standard screwdriver to push down on these tabs to release it. From that point, it's just a matter of popping the old model out, popping the new one in, setting some screws, reconnecting some water lines, and testing for leaks. Troy, there's no water coming into the bowl. I think it's time to clean the screens on it. So those window screens aren't going to be much of a help in this. But this water valve again does have a little screen right inside here. And where this hooks up is the plumbing line screw onto here. And if the water has a lot of debris in it, it can get caught in that screen. Therefore, the water can't get through here and into the commode. So when you push the pedal, there's no water coming through or very little water coming through. So that's the first thing you would want to check. You're going to need to unscrew the water lines from here and then, you know, maybe peer in there with a flashlight and go ahead and clean this out to see if that solves the water flow problem. Troy, grab the donut. Way ahead of you, Linda. Not that donut. And she wonders why it's taken nine takes to get this scene correct. All right, so this is the real donut we're talking about. Now, if you find there's water leaking on your uh, commode here in the trailer, the first thing you want to do is check those two bolts on either side of the commode, those tank bolts, make sure they're tight. Now, assuming the, the bolts themselves are tight, you might have a problem with the flange at the commode. Sometimes these guys wear out. And if you have to pull the commode, it's a very straightforward project. We did an install video sometime back, and you can look at that video if you want to watch the entire process. But it doesn't take very long, maybe 10 minutes. Okay, so this last item is one that we see actually pop up more online than the others. And that is that the seal just isn't properly closing. So Dometic gives a tip for getting it to work correctly. And that is to take uh, your finger and just kind of press down around the seal to get it to sit a little better. And then take some hot water from the kitchen faucet, pour that into the commode and let it sit for a few minutes until it cools off. Go ahead and flush. You might have to try it a couple of times. Um, now that should work. If it doesn't though, it's time to replace the seal. But luckily, that's not as big of a deal as you would think. So luckily, if you do need to replace the seal, it really is a two minute fix. Um, our old camper, we had to pull the whole commode to change it out, so it took about an hour. Um, here in this one, you just reach in, you can pull the seal out from inside the commode, and then just go ahead and pop the new one in. Um, there are videos online if you do need those, and there are instructions uh, with the replacement. So really should be a two minute fix. Ours still working fine, but if and when we do need to replace it, we'll make sure to do a video. So the last thing is what happens if you break the pedal on the commode? Well, unfortunately, Dometic does not make replacement parts for that. Um, it is integral to the commode, so you can't replace just the pedal. So unfortunately, that's gonna mean a complete new swap out. So there you have it. The time has come to close the lid on Toilet Talk. <laughs> okay. 
Now, we hope you enjoyed today's video and running through all these. Um, now, everything we talked about can pretty much be found in this brochure here, and you may not have it, so I'm going to link it in the description because this is actually our second one. Why, Troy? Campfires. <laughs> yes. Um, we don't really have instruction manuals unless I've gone ahead and saved them. So, um, also, you don't stop to ask for directions. I do not, but I've never been lost. Folks, I am always looking for an alternate way to arrive at the original destination. <laughs> okay. Well, that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video. And if you'd like to see more in the future, please remember to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, Desi always wants you to hit the notification bell.